For those of you new to this channel, welcome guys. For those of you returning, welcome back and thank you for your continued support. As always, the readings that I'm doing here today in general tarot spreads and it may not necessarily resonate with everyone watching this. In that instance, please just take what resonates with you and leave aside what doesn't. Now, for those of you watching and would like a personal reading with me, please feel free to connect with me. My email address is going to be listed for you at the bottom of the video here where the soap sorry, where the show more section is below, along with the different types of readings that I offer. And you'll find that those readings resonate with you more closely as they are personal and will directly relate to you and your specific situation. So the spread that I'm doing here today is intended for Libra Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. So let's take a look at the messages the cards hold for you here um, in, uh, in your spread. So to begin, you've got the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Wands and the Hangman here. Begin with the, okay, so let's begin with the Page of Pentacles. This rules the earthly signs of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And the image depicts a young man who stands here amongst a grassy field. It's a very rich and verdant landscape. There is a mountain in the horizon, which could signify a possible upcoming uh, obstacle or a challenge for the page here. Uh, but yet he will go on. The show must go on. In his hand, he holds a pentacle. Okay, He holds a pentacle, and it's almost like he's studying it. He's discovering it for the first time. He's quite studious here um, he looks at it adoringly here okay um, well perhaps he's willing to discover how to manifest more of these pentacles here but there's definitely a very strong sense of curiosity now you also have another page which is the page of ones okay um, and we'll go into that a little bit later but uh, ones are typically said to be messengers okay ones are typically said to be messengers and they often represent a message coming in here Okay, and I feel like this week here, Libra, there is, um, this week here, there may be a message or two coming in for you here with the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, and what a fabulous message it is, okay? It's definitely something that some of you have been anticipating, uh, or it's something that's uh, a message that you've been wanting to hear. It feels like it's a message from the heart, okay? Um... It's an exciting message as well, because uh, both the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, it's um, there's, uh, there's it's sort of like there's a rush, there's a rush of energy that this uh, that this message he will bring. Okay, this is an incoming message from your special someone here. Okay, from your special someone, from your sweetheart. Um, okay, let's begin with the Page of Pentacles first here. Okay, this is someone whom, okay, this is someone who definitely wants to be with you, uh, but I feel like this is someone who may be feeling, um, someone who feels a lot of pressure with this connection. Okay, now so, uh, sometimes, you know, it's said that with the Page of Pentacles, this could represent a emotion or um, a relationship in which someone could be with you uh, you know they could be with you because of your looks okay this is someone whom is maybe very attracted to you um, and they're with you for how you look not necessarily how you are um, I don't always think the pages are that or the page of Pentacles in particular is that shallow I do feel like this is someone who is physically attracted to you and you know they could be in awe of your um, attractiveness here, in awe of your beauty and your allure here. Um, but I don't think that's the only reason they're with you. I feel like because the pages represent a very youthful energy. To me, I always uh, associate the page of Pentacles or the page of Wands, any page in particular, really, as someone being a little bit more younger than yourself. Okay, there's that. And therein, there's that, you know, there's that student aspect to both the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. There's that curiosity here, okay? Some of this, there could be a bit of an age gap between you and your special someone. Um, it could be that this person is, uh, you know, this could be a younger lover, okay? Uh, maybe this is someone who is inexperienced, someone who hasn't had um, as much experience when it comes to relationships and when it comes to love. Uh, and all of a sudden, you know, they seem to be in awe of you here with the Page of Pentacles. Um, there's something also premature about the pages. So I feel like with this message that comes in for you, yes, it's a fabulous message, but it's a message that could be arriving a little bit too prematurely. Okay. Um, what does that mean? So maybe someone could be dropping the L-bomb this week. 
Maybe someone could be admitting their feelings uh, for you here this week. Uh, someone could be wanting to take things up a notch, um, you know, uh, you know, turn up the heat. Uh, maybe they're wanting to get closer to you intimately here. Um, maybe they're wanting to make it exclusive. I feel like something comes here a little bit prematurely, okay? Someone here is either getting ahead of themselves or getting ahead of their feelings. It could be you if you are, you know, if you do have earthly energy or if you have uh, fire energy within your natal chart or it could be your special someone here. Have a look at both the page of pentacles, you know, uh, sorry, both the pages, one arrives with the pentacle and the other one is coming in with the wand, okay, but they're each coming in with something, they're bringing some sort of message with them, they're bringing a special type of energy with them, and they're both facing the hangman, whom obviously he denotes a lack of action, so some of you I feel like are going to feel like this message, whatever it is that they're uh, going to be revealing to you this week which for some of you i do feel like it's they're opening up their feelings that they're going to let you know that they've catch uh, that they're catching feelings or have already caught feelings for you some of them may be dropping the album but whatever it is that they're going to share with you i feel like whoever it is on the receiving end of this uh type of message is going to feel like it's coming a little bit prematurely like okay you're catching feelings great but i think you're catching them a little bit too early i mean you feel as if though this person doesn't really know you um, or doesn't really know you all that well or they will feel as if you don't really know this person all that well if it is you that's going to be dropping this message onto them here okay um so okay so that's interesting so with the page of wands here this is fire energy okay um aries leo sagittarius and the page of wands shows a young man who holds a staff here okay he holds a staff in his hand and he looks inquisitively out uh, to the horizon here okay this is the page of wands represents passion and determination okay um I feel like this is someone who's very attracted to you, this special type of person, you're, sorry, this type of person um, that you're uh, dealing with, that you're currently involved with, is someone who is very attracted to you, okay? Um, they could be a bit of a free agent with both the Page of Pentacles, maybe this isn't someone who's had a lot of relationships, I feel like they haven't had a lot of experience in relationships in the past, or maybe this isn't someone who is, you know, you can't tie them down easily, but they're willing to do so for you here. Um, I also feel like, and I've touched on this earlier, that you know the pages are both young. They're, they're very young. They're very youthful. That they're quite energetic. I feel like this person feels as if they're really able to grow with you. Or if you do give this person, even if they are a lot younger than yourself, or there is a bit of an age gap and you find, you know, there's a lot of, although there's a lot of similarities, there's a lot of differences, especially when it comes, you know, uh, when it comes down to the age, you might find that uh, this person will, uh, if they, if you do give them a chance to pursue this connection or to further explore this connection, you'll find that this person will be able to grow within the, within this connection with you, to grow within the relationship here with you. So. The pages here, you're planting a seed that might grow into something special, okay? The hangman, he tells me that um, someone here is wanting to hit the brakes a little bit, okay? Someone here is wanting to take a, uh, hit the brakes, is not wanting to act yet. Um, they may feel as if someone, you know, you, if it's you, if you are channeling the hangman energy, you may feel as if your special someone is getting ahead of themselves, um, you know, is prematurely declaring their love for you. You may feel like they're coming in too fast here, like they're catching feelings way too fast. And as a result, you're beginning to question the authentic, the authentic, the authenticity of those feelings. Sorry, that took me a while, but I got there. Um, you know, just how genuine they are when it comes to matters of their heart here. Um, I feel like this one is a keeper. I feel like this one is definitely a keeper just because he or she may be younger than you or he or she may be inexperienced um, in, a, in a relationships. I feel like you have to give it a go. And okay, someone here wants to pump the brakes or, you know, someone here isn't giving someone else the green light. Maybe you need a little bit more time. But I feel like there's definitely something here worth exploring here as denoted by the pages. I feel like there's a lot of growth capability here. Okay, with both pages, there's a lot of capability for the two of you to grow this connection into something. 
I do feel like there's going to be challenges, and again, I feel like those challenges will come down to you'll you'll find that you'll always keep relating back to the fact that there's something about their age, or there's something about their maybe their previous uh, relationships. Uh, previous relationship experience, um, or maybe there's something about their demeanor here that you might find a little bit too, a little bit too young for you, or you might find a lot of differences being highlighted between the two of you here, because there's a lot of, um, you know, both backgrounds depict uh, mountains here, okay? Uh, so there's going to be, there's going, there's some sort of challenge here, but um, there's something here that you'll find challenging or you'll find like an obstacle. But if you can find that you can get over this hurdle or get over whatever this obstacle is, I feel like this connection will have, has a lot of potential and will have the potential to grow into something very special. And, and, you know, and if you don't necessarily want to act on your feelings or if you don't haven't necessarily developed any feelings right now, that's okay. Maybe just be honest with them. And if you feel like they're being a little bit premature or, you know, however it is you feel, just explain to them that, hey, you know, you want to take things a little bit slower um, or you don't want to move too fast. You don't want to rush it. Uh, whatever it is, I feel like you just... Just be open and transparent with them because I think they'll get it. They seem to have a very easygoing type of energy about them. I think they'll be cool with it, to be honest with you. Um, but I definitely feel like there's something here exciting. There's, um, this is an exciting type of connection that's brewing. And I say it's worth giving a go. I say it's worth exploring. You know, by no means rush it. If you, if you feel indifferent to the hangman, if you feel like you don't want to pop the brakes and, you know, you want to go out at full force, you know, by no means, go for it. But if you feel a little bit like, you know, okay, this is happening too fast, I don't want to rush it, we're still getting to know each other, you know, um, uh, I don't feel like uh, we're there yet, that's okay, you know, just be honest with them. And I feel like they're willing to, they're willing to tango here. All right, Libra, that pretty much sums up your spread here. Thank you guys for watching, for listening. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And please don't forget to share, like, dislike, or comment below. For those of you that do want that reading with me, feel free to connect. Otherwise, please, everyone, take care, stay well, keep safe, and I will catch up with you next week.